Only on four tonight. You may think you know the rules of the road, but may actually be breaking them, putting others' lives at risk. Action 4's Brett Crandall shows us how you can avoid a $500 citation. We all know the world is full of bad drivers, but you may be one of them and not even know it. Watch as I explore two of the least understood rules of the road. It's happened to every driver. You're in a hurry, but stuck behind a slow driver in the left lane. And it's very nerve wracking, <laughs> especially when you have to get somewhere. So why are so many drivers taking it slow in the passing lane? I asked drivers outside of the DPS license office. There's a lot of people here from other areas uh, of the country and even out of the country that don't understand the laws or some just don't care. No, they're too busy talking or texting and they just don't don't move and I don't understand it. A lot of the people are on their phones and they don't look at their rear mirrors. Think you know better? According to the Texas Driver's Handbook, drivers are to always keep to the right side of the road, except when passing another vehicle, driving on a one-way street, or the right side of the road is blocked. DPS Sergeant Johnny Hernandez says drivers shouldn't be in the left lane unless you are passing a vehicle. It's not considered a fast lane, it's considered a passing lane. So when the vehicle you're passing, you immediately, as soon as you clear that vehicle, you need to move back to the right. Violators are not hard to spot. This blue PT Cruiser just ahead of me is actually going about the speed limit of 65 miles per hour, but he's not passing anybody, causing everyone to pass to his right. In fact, cruising in what you think is a fast lane may cost you. Now, you'll see vehicles that are going on the left lane, and they're still traveling down that road and traveling. Into, they're not passing any vehicles. That's a violation of the law, and you can get cited for that. And that could be up to a fine up to $500. Left lane drivers aren't just breaking the law. They may put lives in jeopardy. Emergency calls, it's you know, a matter of life and death, and every second counts. Again, I asked drivers at the DPS license office a traffic question, how they react to an approaching emergency vehicle. For most, the answer is not so clear. When there is a emergency vehicle approaching, what do you do? Uh, you, I pull to the left, to the side, and let them pass, depending on where you're coming from. Do you pull over to the closest side? Not quite. None of those responses were right. The driver's manual states to pull to the right edge of the road and stop. If you are unable to pull over to the right, slow down and leave a clear path for the emergency vehicle. Never does it say to move to the left. You must move to the right or park it. McAllen Deputy Fire Chief Juan Angel Gloria says drivers disregarding that law makes their job more dangerous. Some of them just stop in the middle of the lane, on the left lane. We end up having to go against traffic some, sometimes, and uh, all of that causes us to slow down. Gloria says driver complacency is no easy fix. It's a culture that we need to change. We need to make sure that we all continue to instill a culture of safety, a culture of respect. We need to make sure that you give us the opportunity to get there as fast as we can so that we can save a life. So next time you're on the road, remember, whether it's an emergency vehicle or just a passing SUV, move to the right. According to a recent road rage study, left lane hogs are third on the list for driving activity that will most likely enrage fellow drivers behind only texters and tailgaters. In the studio, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News. So what do you think about those rules on the road? Find me now online at Twitter at MarcyKGBT and Facebook.com slash Action 4 News Marcy.